The Point of View is brought to you by Cowbell Coffee. Cowbell Coffee. Taste it. Love it. Kel Choco Toothpaste. Kel Choco. Happy Smile. Bell Aqua Active. Bell Aqua Active. Stay true to originality. Welcome to The Point of View. This is your favorite current affair show on television. On The Point of View, we get the right guests. We ask them the right questions on issues that matter to you. We're live interactive tonight with the big man, the great Accra Regional Minister. It's a few hours to a major, major campaign in the regional capital to get it to look, speak, and span. The minister has been campaigning to get all citizens involved. Tonight, we'll be having an interactive session with him. So what are we doing on Tuesday morning, who's supposed to get involved? How long will they last for? And uh, what about those who say they are not yet ready? They need to be relocated. We'll be answering all those questions with Honorable Henry Corte, who's the great Regional Minister. When we come back, stay with us. Welcome back to The Point of View. So tonight we'll be speaking to the Regional Minister for the Greater Accra Region, Honorable Henry Quarte, as we begin a very important project on Tuesday, which will be the 1st of February. It's called Operation Clean Your Frontage. He's here to talk to us about that and other issues around the region. We want to make it interactive. So if you have a question, you can go on our social media page and post the question there, or you can simply send them to the WhatsApp number on the screen. He's happy to answer questions. Good evening, Honorable Henry Quarte. Welcome to the show. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much. How are you doing? By the grace of the Almighty God, I am good, thank you. On the journey to making a crowd work again, where have we gotten to? Well, um, we embarked on this project with a series of, uh, uh, if you like, initiatives mm. um, on our agenda. By the grace of God, we, we set out to decongest mm. some areas in Accra. Mm -hmm. Notably amongst them is the almighty Agobloshi, mm -hmm. uh, scrap dealers behind Bayer Man, scrap dealers at the Agobloshi itself, and uh, some kiosk estates uh, scattered all over in Accra. Um, some structures that were springing up in an unauthorized area, uh, Ramsar sites. And let's also take uh, note of the fact that uh, aside those ones that I lead myself as a regional minister, mm. the MMDC is on their own. I've also done quite a number of uh, demolition or embarked on the demolition exercises, you see. So uh, that is around wager area, palm brawls. Mm -hmm. I mean, recently the wager by way MCE also did some uh, demolition. So Patrick Kumo. Yes. And uh, let me put on record that... Uh, it, it, it's not for fun that we go demolishing things, no. But mm. usually we look at where structures are located or sited mm -hmm. in an unauthorized area. And that, if not taken care of, then in event of any heavy rainfall, mm. and there's a highly likelihood of uh, uh, flooding in that area. So, and uh, we've done behind the Kweishi Lagoon, uh, it's known as the Rasta Road. Um, our attention was drawn to the fact that uh, people had actually started feeling the Kweishi Lagoon and mm. it was uh, a bit scary actually. So uh, LADMA and a combination of the Greater Accra Regional Tax Force, mm -hmm. the RCC Tax Force went there and they have been able to do, carry out some demolition exercises there. Mm -hmm. They will be going back hopefully maybe in end of this, end of February or so to do the cleaning up. Mm. They will also be revisiting that's motorway stretch to uh, take a few down. We actually paused because it was getting to the Christmas festivities and we thought that, well, mm. November, December, you demolish somebody's house, or a structure rather. Mm -hmm. So they've had enough uh, notices 
and it is only proper for us to go in this time. Mm. Then there's a particular sport on the Spinter Stretch, uh, the Manet Junction. Mm. You know, that's the famous Okoboy Road, <laughs> Dr. Okoboy, yeah. Just at the intersection, and that mm. causes a lot of traffic yeah, yeah. Uh, coming from Spinter. So we've served them notices, and this is about the fifth month. Mm. So we will go there and... Uh, so it looks like you are working with some sort of plan. If I recall, make a crowd work again, the first thing we saw was some of the major traffic intersections like Medina Zungo Junction, food bridges to be used. So we, we noticed that started working. Then the issue of movement of people, scrap dealers, onion sellers, and the Ramsar site that you mentioned. Then the issue of conveying refuse, the abobo yards and usage. And now we are coming. So. Is there some sort of grand timetable? Because it seems as if there are specific operations. So can you, is there a timetable you're working with or you, it's as and when you notice the problem, then you solve it? No, I wouldn't say as and when. You know, we want to have uh, a short, medium and long-term program mm. so that uh, one day if somebody succeeds me as a regional minister, mm. a person must be able to continue from where I left off. Mm. If not, then... It will be the story as it's been told. Mm -hmm. One day there was a Salifu Amakun, there was a Nigeria Blanksin, there was name them. But this time around, we want to have a system in place so that uh, regardless of whoever becomes the regional minister after mm -hmm. me, should be able to follow. And as much as practically possible, I think that we shouldn't in any way, shape or form, politicize this agenda. Because this is a cosmopolitan region. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Issues that bother on security, sanitation, education must be detached mm. from politics. Mm. And I'm glad, and uh, I want to say on record, put on record today that uh, so far uh, this exercise has enjoyed but tremendous support for all, from all and sundry, uh, particularly the uh, uh, minority, majority in parliament, Greater Accra. Mm. There are other opinion leaders, I don't want to mention names, who are in, on the other side of the political divide, who are all saying, this is a clarion call, we are all getting involved, and we want to make sure that Accra mm. becomes... Do you sense that people are tired of the chaos, and that they really probably want to use this to showcase what is possible? Uh, well, um, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want to use the word chaos, but well, if it's coming from you, fine. But um, mm. I, I think that... Uh, since we started this exercise, it's, give, it's becoming an awakening call mm. for people. So people are becoming conscious of their environment. Mm. So now they think that, yes, this exercise has to go on. Yes, we want to live in a very clean environment. So indeed, uh, we are getting there. Mm. Do you notice, some people have said that, for example, the Medina Zungo Junction, it looks like there's been a relapse. Mm. So I think initially, everybody was using a footbridge. Mm. The medians were blocked with fence wire and the police were there. It looks like sometimes when the police don't come, you notice that there's a bit of traffic again because the drivers may still be parking at some places. I've seen people cross the road without using the footbridge for the past few days, even around Christmas. So what's the agenda? Is it that you want the people to just comply? Is it that we didn't have resources? What's, the, what's your comment about the sense of relapse that we are seeing in some of the places? Well, uh, if you recall, uh, in all my media engagements, I did indicate mm. that uh, these are pilot programs we are doing. Mm. And once we are able to study the system, and then we know, like I'm saying, uh, short, medium, and long term. Mm -hmm. Now, you needed um, um, the tax force who will be deployed to ensure that it's a sustainability. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm very grateful to the finance minister, mm. because we've had clearance. And so we are recruiting, as I said, uh, over 3,500 uh, people in the greater Accra region. And these mm. recruitments, I must put on record, that they are not being done on any political system. Mm -hmm. So long as you live in Accra, you are Ghanaian, you are fixed, you can do the job, no certificates, we're just recruiting them. Mm -hmm. And so the plan is, the first batch, uh, about 1,200 plus, have gone through the profiling uh, stages or processes. Mm. And so it is expected that uh, God willing, uh, anytime soon, they will go to the training uh, camp. Mm. Uh, all things being equal, we're expecting that they'll pass out sometime around March. So then comes your question. 
Mm. Once they pass out, you're going to have about 2,000 people deployed in the CBD. They will choke the system. So there will be no cause to say, oh, well, there are no men there to ensure compliance. The uniform people? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like the city guard that is a bit reformed, and that's all. Trained to do what specifically? Oh, to train to ensure uh, uh, compliance. So like cross, using foot bridges? Those ones. What about the trotros? Um, that, that's what I'm saying. But the trotros, uh, they, they have what we call the floating uh, vehicles or drivers or whatever you call them. Uh, we will not necessarily be targeting the trotros. Mm. But then their duty is to stand at designated areas to ensure that mm. uh, people do not flout the... Mm. Uh, the, the laws, that's all. I see. I'm asking because when you get to tiptoe lane, mm. circle, when you are either coming towards former Ghana Telecom or moving, they take two of the lanes. And this is regular. Sometimes you see MTTD police standing there talking to them. <laughs> and meanwhile, there's traffic. It is part of the exercise tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll deal with circle that too. Circle has been captured as one of the areas we'll be tackling mm. tomorrow. Mm. We are tackling um, the crime and crime circle. Mm coming from uh, um, Avena Junction mm -hmm. and then coming from uh, Ring Road mm -hmm. and then coming from uh, your road here leading to Kojo Thompson. So coming from Avenue? Yes, that one. Which is the one going to Accra? Absolutely. And Kojo yeah. Thompson is the one coming back from yep. Accra? We're tackling all those ones. So mm. there will be a heavy deployment there. Mm. And uh, the good thing is that we gave directives to all the MMDAs mm and uh, the MMDC is to lead mm. uh, their respective uh, uh, assemblies by mm -hmm. way of uh, uh, embarking on uh, uh, sensitization and awareness uh, programs. Mm. So people in their respective uh, assemblies mm -hmm. would understand the need for them to uh, come along. Okay. We don't want it to look like it's being imposed on them, but we want a situation where all and sundry will embrace the program and see it as something that is part of uh, their day-to-day -day activities. Okay. Once we are able to get to that point, mm. there wouldn't be the need to even begin to worry our head over enforcement. Because mm. people naturally would say, look, if you do A, you get B. If you do B, you get C. All right. Right. What exactly are we doing on 1st February? I'm asking because I've seen three different adjectives. Some people say we are decongesting Accra from February 1. Some people say we are cleaning our frontage on February 1. Some people say we are removing illegal structures on February 1. What exactly is it? Okay. So tomorrow, all things being equal, and I think it's good to use this platform. Mm -hmm. uh, we had lengthy discussions with uh, the boss of the National Service Secretariat. Mm -hmm. We had meetings with them, and uh, we were made to understand that... Uh, National Service has actually deployed over 30,000 personnel in Greater Accra alone. So we asked that they release between 10 to 15 or 15 to 16,000 for us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let me say this and say it well. Uh, some information has unfortunately uh, wrongfully been sent to some of the National Service personnel. Uh, uh, claiming that we are get, uh, inviting them to come and clean the roads, whereas that is not the case. So let me use the opportunity to correct that uh, erroneous impression out there. Mm. Rather, mm. we need the National Service personnel to help us mm -hmm. by way of uh, sharing flyers and posters and also educating the people. Okay. That is the major reason why we want the National So the service. sensitization is their role? Absolutely. All right. So they go to the shops, they go to the markets. So then comes your question. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, uh, as we said, if everything goes well, we will have uh, a combination of uh, over 2,000 men and women drawn from the security and intelligence agencies to help. Mm -hmm. We are going to have uh, over a thousand from uh, Zoom Lio and YEA collaboration. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're hoping that we'll get the numbers. But uh, the least will be 10,000. But then originally we we're looking at 15 to 16,000 from National Service. Now, there are routes that we have uh, identified. La Paz is one of them. Circle is one of them. Farisco area is one of them. Kimbu in front of the Kimbu GHS all the way to Kujo Thompson is one of them. Um, um, Kanishin 
mm. as one of them. Both bridges? Yes, we are going to start from first lines, both sides, a long stretch to Bechebi runabout. So coming back, the trucks, the trot trucks, the buses that pass? Every one of them. So Nobody is both going sides. to park the both okay. sides. Nobody is parking there. Mm -hmm. Then we will do Farisco again. Mm -hmm. Farisco, we are doing from Farisco all the way to UTC and back. Mm -hmm. And then the Mokola itself, Enclave. around those areas, the fire service area. You know, uh, Honorable Okova Napoe did it some time ago. And uh, it was sustained for over a year and a half or so. So these are the areas we are tackling tomorrow. Um, so that is in terms of streets, drivers, movement, absolutely. traders, yes. all of that. The traders, we want them to move onto the pavements because uh, since time immemorial, whether it's by convention or whatever, they are able to create uh, a path mm -hmm. for passengers to, to use, pass to uh, sorry, uh, path, uh, uh, pedestrians, pedestrians to use mm. uh, on the pavement. So we will allow that. But we are saying that from tomorrow, strictly, mm -hmm. people cannot sit on the streets and trade. And then cars, the, the floating commercial vehicles that uh, stop anywhere, anyhow. It is going to be difficult from the beginning, but we will ensure that we sustain this exercise. So just to be clear, traders can be on the pavement, oh, yeah, I mean, but not on the streets. On the streets. So pe pedestrians should be able to walk on the pavement. That's what I'm saying by convention. It's been mm. there since time immemorial. You know, you go to Circle, for instance, there's a small lane for pedestrians walking, and I think that's... Uh, as, it, as we speak now, we'll start with that. Then, as we progress, we are looking at engaging the... We've already spoken to the market queens and all that. So, f from what I'm seeing on this TV now, so this is... Are you saying that the people who have put their goods on the floor... Mm. You see... They're okay. on the street. So, so these guys should move to the pavement. Oh, we're getting all of them. If they can't find space on the pavement stuff... Mm. So they can be on pavement, but not on street. Yeah. Not on street. Yeah, so the guys with these umbrellas can be pa on pavement. Pavement managed by the assemblies. Pavements managed by assemblies. Yes. But not on streets. Streets no. are meant for cars. Absolutely. So, so citizens are not supposed to be walking on the street. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And immediately we do that, it will free the vehicular movement for us. Because okay. same is happening at Circle. Uh -huh. Same is happening at Carnation. Everywhere. La Paz. That's the problem we have. Once we are able to move them off the streets and allow free flow of uh, vehicular movement, we should be fine. Good. Some will say this is a symptom of a bigger problem. Mm. That the main problem is that we have so many traders and not enough market space, which is why they have come out of markets. Do you agree? Oh, I do agree with you perfectly. I, I, I wouldn't even want to uh, go into a debate on that. Mm. But again... Uh, in our various engagements with the market queens, mm -hmm. uh, they are strongly saying that there are spaces in the market mm -hmm. and that these people have actually rented the spaces to people. Some of them are using it as a warehouse. So once we are able to clear them off the streets, the assemblies have been tasked to engage the market women in their respective assemblies and then find a place for these people possibly to move off the pavements, go into the markets to do business. So it's... Uh, it's in phases. Yes. So the first phase of the streets to yep. the pavement, second yep. phase of pavement. Yep. Let's hear some traders. If you have the video clip, if you can... Uh, so I think some traders said they want a broader consultation. Some were asking to be allowed to sell at night so that by 5 a.m. they will leave. I just wanted you to watch what they said and then we can react to that. Regional Minister Diake. Can I ever say ye? Jano ye, Jimmy, ni kwoshia. Abang ye srel, ye srel abang. Omo ye mbo. Ye your bad time. Enela sabai so tu ye free kwa nwa ye koni sing. These women have been trading in parts of the Greater Accra region for over twenty years, and their livelihoods depend on their businesses. They say they will be affected by the decongestion exercise on Tuesday. You bought the ship man can you buy what is in the lane here? Yeah, she been in Japan. You watch one day. It can recondition again. The man can two o'clock. If you man can one o'clock, we are Jimmy. What qualify? Get your way. Many of your streets are no economy. Hugby. 
I would not get the market one o'clock, let me five o'clock. I claim of fear, more of your money than my view. The son is our son of a two year old. On pepper be my yen. Nayan Tina. Then they are not just an agana, yes, son. Yes, son, we are meeting a minucuno. A one amina, maybe shamima, a muduko school. And then we more university, Miana Mission. It is a net, not say a minister saw two year, may a day. Yes, son. Se wo mu ye mo ba chere se kuna fo so wo ye mu se wo kasi ye nko tene fia onu wa fa na ni fia se obi o ye kuna ni mu hwan ni na be hwe ne ma ma no age se wo beto wade wa bo ntin ni wo nya kakra enti se wo se ye nko de a enye no ma ye baby papa ye nko tena the deconjection of principal streets of Accra will prevent encroachment on walkways it will also avert impeding of human traffic before the deadline on tuesday the government offered the traders a grace period to relocate or return to their respective markets. At a press conference in Accra on Monday, the General Secretary of UNIWAS, Deborah Freeman, said their activities were part of the larger economy, hence there was the need to engage them when such a program was... So that was a, a, a longer report we cut. What, do, you, do you understand what they're saying? Oh, I do very much understand what they're saying, but I think that... Uh... We have gotten to a point where, with the greatest of respect, indeed, yes, they contribute a lot mm. to uh, the informal sector of our economy. But I'm saying that we cannot continue to allow the wrongs to be done mm. just because, with the greatest of respect, you know, uh, when you go to other jurisdictions, clearly, I mean, for instance, like New York. The last time I traveled to the, U in the U.S., we, we, we were looking for a place to park our vehicle <laughs> so we can go into the Ghana embassy. It will suffer. We went round and round and round for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then all we had to do was to go and park, I think, like say, from here to, say, Osu somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And then we had to take a taxi wow. to come back. So... And these are high-rise buildings in New York. Mm. So why is it that the New York authorities will not say, oh, well, these high-rise buildings, they need car parks, so let's block the whole place. But no, mm. it doesn't work that way. Mm. In the first place, that's why I'm saying that we have taken the trouble to engage the market queens. And I, I hope you play what some of them said. When yeah, we, we have that. When we engaged them at uh, the AMA uh, auditorium just about a week ago, clearly... And clearly, they are saying that there are spaces in the marketplaces. So the question is, But the time has come for us to ensure that the discipline that is uh, gradually, uh, <laughs> uh, whether it's eroding or is disappearing or is vanishing, mm. we need to try and bring it back. And... Uh, we have to take the bull by the horn. I mean, okay. Yeah. This is the point of view. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we have your questions. Quite a number of them have started coming in already. Regional Minister is taking questions on operation, clean your frontage. You'll get the modalities of that too. So is it that when they come, you have to be cleaning your front? What if your front is already clean? So we'll deal with some of those issues as well. Stay with us. Welcome back to the point of view. Tonight we have Regional Minister Henry Korte. He's also the MP for Ayawaso Central and he <laughs> informed his people that he will weed <laughs> them. I don't know. So, yeah, no. That was quite interesting. Yeah, no you, you, were, you felt that there will be some political backlash because you were saying people shouldn't say we voted for you and that type of thing. You've counted the political cost of this. No, yeah, indeed I have. And you are prepared to suffer the consequence when people start saying things like we voted for you you are you are you are making our life difficult mpp you are our party and then people start calling the min other ministers start calling the president and they say henry minu fio minu tawni mppi opposition and those kind of things so a political party comes with a manifesto mm -hmm. Of which, when given the nod, mm. they, it, they, it, the party will be guided by its manifesto to ensure that uh, uh, it brings uh, good leadership to the people 
mm -hmm. in terms of uh, economic growth, infrastructure, social interventions, and all that. And I think that part of what we are doing, whether we like it or not, is uh, in the interest of Mother Ghana and for all of us in Greater Accra. Indeed, yes, uh, in this part of the world, this is where we are getting to. Everything has been skewed down to politics. But uh, is it about time that we begin to educate our people that indeed are living in an enabling environment, making sure your security is good, your welfare and well-being is being taken care of through the actions and inactions that we uh, want to embark on. Mm. Uh, I want to cite an example. Mm -hmm. Just within this week, uh, an articulator truck on Pukwasi ran into uh, one of the pavements or whatever. Yeah, I think it, it was trying to turn and it, well. it fell on its side. The question I've been asking is that assuming this had happened around circle, mm. you know how many lives we will lose? Mm. Yeah, and it, it's not any far from it. Assuming it happens around CMB area, what will happen? Assuming it happens around Kanishi, the same people will turn around and say, ah, bye. And this and that, and that is where you find all the uh, uh, human rights activities and all, all that coming out to say, hey, why didn't we uh, act proactively? So I think we are being proactive, and what we are doing is also a long term to help mm. uh, our traders uh, for them to do business in an enabling environment. <coughs> <coughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to read some comments. Which I, I want your answers very short because there are a lot. Yeah. Good evening, City. Please find out what the minute. Okay, tell Honorable Henry Cotter he's done a good job. He should send his men to check the new Medina footbridge at Zongo Junction. The beggars and hawkers are virtually making the place filthy. So that's one question. Kindly inform the minister not to forget Nyamicha Junction to La Paz, a brandy spot on the side road. We are living in hell. This is. I am at Rupi Street, La Paz. Honorable, you're chosen as a minister. You are not a disappointment to Ghanaians. Other ministers should learn from your initiative. Edward Miller, Kintampo Bono East. So three questions. Zongo Junction, beggars, hawkers, make the place filthy. Nyamicha Junction to La Paz, a spot. They are living in hell. So that's from La Paz. A quick comment on that. So Madina uh, Footbridge, you uh, agree with me that we've done a lot of work there. Mm. And uh, um, once the city response team passes out, mm -hmm. we will deploy about 100 or 200 uh, boys there, and they will take care of the This situation. is March? Yeah, by March. So, so they are not in part of tomorrow? No, they are part of it because the MMDCs have been asked to do their respective assignments. But, but that's well. cleaning and things. Yes. But in terms of food bridge, usage? Yes, food bridge, and then there are a lot of people selling by the roadside from Reese Junction all the way to Zongo Junction. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, there's a market a behind market. Uh, Ken City yes. that nobody's using. Oh, there's a market behind Ken yeah, City? Yeah, there's a market there. I didn't there's know. There's a market space there. Nobody's using Red it. Red Coast side? Yeah, that area. So we want to get all of them to move off the streets and then go into the markets. Madina is almost the biggest market. Yeah, we'll, we'll get them to go into the markets. Okay, La Paz, Abrantia La, La Sports. La Paz, Abrantia Sports hell. is part of the exercise we are doing tomorrow. Tomorrow, you'll yes, be there. That's a La Paz... Uh, area and all that. It starts with Abrant here. Okay. And then uh, uh, a little bit before you get to maybe Niboy Town. So it's not that far. That's area. Okay. It's part of the exercise. This one is coming from Nanaya or North Kanishi. Kali, as a minister, what will happen to the police if we notice the frontage of Tesano Police School is dirty? What happens to the metal and litter bins that was rolled out last two years? And what and who is to be blamed and also prove that they won't finally go and draw red line and white lines on mm -hmm. pavement at Accra and Circle for traders to sell? So Danaya has a lot of questions. Frontage of Tesano Police School is dirty. What happened to the metal litter bins that were put there? And then what shows that you will not go and draw red and white lines on pavement for people to sell? Second one, Bernard, I beg you to read this to the minister. My area is Tantra Hill, a cycle lane behind St. John's School. A market has sprung up in the middle of the road. The area is a residential area, not a market. Tell the minister to do something about it for us. It's really bad. Nicholas, Tantra Hill. So, Zongo Junction, um, reference the beggars. Um, I've said time and time that uh, this is multi-sectorial. Mm. Uh, thankfully, uh, the uh, acting minister for uh, women and gender uh, has started something. So let us wait for central governments to conclude on their 
uh, the committee to come up with their recommendations, then mm. we will go in. Okay. Uh, the metal litter bins, yes. Uh, th this question goes back to society. Beans were, were put out there. What happened to them? People actually quietly took them, took them to their homes. Some were using it to fill uh, water and all that. Uh, as part of the operation clean your fronted, yes, we intend to uh, come around with the beans. Again. By this time, it's going to be concrete beans, actually. Concrete beans? Yeah, so you can't lift them anymore. You can't take them Static. anymore. Static? Yep. So it's part of the plans. Yeah, we'll be doing that. They said Tesano Police School is front is dirty. Will you go um, and punish the police? To the best of my knowledge, we actually engage the heads of agencies of the security intelligence agencies and we. Uh, made an appeal to them uh, that as much as possible, if they can get their their uh, uh, men to also observe mm. the exercise, and uh, I am informed that uh, Ghana Fire Service has since sent signal to its uh, units in Accra and even extended it across the country. Mm. So they are doing a nationwide something from tomorrow. Okay. The Ghana Police are also told that uh, they have also sent a signal to their districts and divisional commands to observe same and then work with us. Okay. Uh, Tantra Hill, yes. Um, Bernard, if you're listening to the comments coming, clearly you would agree with me that people are yearning for this exercise to take place. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we'll be doing all these areas, but I want us to be our own uh, citizen vigilantes so that mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, when you see something wrong, somebody is doing something wrong, you should be able to educate the person. Atantra Hill is what assembly? We have 29 uh, assemblies it, in Accra. It, it's under, I think, Okankwe North, eh? Because I know it's under the either Dome Kwabinya or uh, mm. Trobu yeah, Amasaman. Yeah. yeah, they have boundaries, actually. So probably Amasaman. Yeah. So a market in the middle of the road. Mm. Clearly, the, the assembly should be aware of this. Yeah, we have identified all these ones. So as I rightly, uh, you rightly said, uh, some of these things need uh, some education, mm. awareness in the area, and that has been done. In fact, yesterday, the MDCs were tasked to go around the mm. uh, churches. So most of them did uh, about two or three churches in their assemblies in mm -hmm. their respective areas. And so it's catching up. Okay. And we pray that uh, all and sundry will come okay. on board. We have engaged the, the, the clergy as well. Mm. So we have their strong support and assurance. What about uh, schools, students? Uh, yes. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> that is a bit that uh, the regional director of education will be taking up. Mm. So they will send signals to all the schools in Greater Accra. So their head teachers and secular supervisors will be asked to also I try see. and then get the school to. When I was in the university, when we do clean up, we end it with Kenke. So I don't know how you are doing your. Oh, for the, all the four years, when we do clean up on Saturday, there's yeah. Kenke that is available to wash yeah. it down. So I don't know whether you are. That's a smaller group. <laughs> We are looking at about 20,000 people hitting the streets. Imagine all of them eating kinky. What that would do for the kinky economy? Uh, yeah, you it tell me amazing. about it. It would be beautiful. Think about it for the next uh, one. About you coming. When we finish, then we'll eat kinky. Come because she talks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, More questions. Good evening, Honorable. Can we sustain it as this has been done before? I want... I want... Okay, I don't understand what you... I want... What, what differently are you going to do? Rex Odoe for Denta. He said, how do we sustain this? What will you do differently to sustain this? Kojo Ba, Daniel, Adabraka, Odona. Good evening, Bernard. Talking of Beye, man, and Abu Guloshi, what will that place be used for? I'm asking this because some scrap dealers are still doing business from there. That's Kojo Ba, Daniel, Adabraka. Good evening, Bernard. Please tell Honorable Korte that we are behind him. The city must be clean. More grease to your elbow. This is Eric Latte Lakai Kokorbite. So there's the Kojo of Adabraka saying that the scrap dealers are still doing business at Beyeman Abu Bloshi. <laughs> Rex wants to know what you would do differently because this has gone before. Let me take another one. Uh, Enoch from Legon. Bernard, ask the minister how much they are going to pay the employees because that has been our problem as a country. I'm watching you live. Enoch from Legon. I don't know what that means, the service people or the 3,000 people you are training. So you may want to address that. So sustainability, um, if you look at what we are doing so far, mm. we have taken our time to go through various stages. Mm -hmm. And that is why we fought very hard mm. and then we got the finance minister's ears, our attention rather. Mm -hmm. And then this approval has been given to us to recruit okay. these 3,000 and over. So now they are going to pass out, come and then ensure the sustainability. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it's not just one man, two months. 
it is our hope and prayer that this will run all the way to the next elections. So these uh, people will be in, uh, uh, they'll have something to do to the end of uh, 2024, 2025. Mm. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me be quick to say that uh, unlike the previous tax force, Mm. Uh, that exists anyway. With these ones, they are going to be strictly monitored. Mm. And so if anybody commits anything, taking bribe from somebody, immediately we, we sack the person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Bayerman area, well, I, I don't know where he's talking about, but the area that was secured Bay, Bay, behind Bayerman has been fenced. Mm. It's been fenced. You know, and Before so, lit up. Yeah, so on it's the been graphic road. It's been fenced. We, we've, we've asked the... Mm. Uh, experts to do soil testing because uh, it's, it's becoming difficult to actually lay the uh, black soil there and then uh, uh, get the greens done. So they are doing the soil testing. But anytime soon, mm. parks and gardens will move in and get it sorted. Mm. Now, remuneration, yes, um, definitely they are going to be giving something, but uh, we cannot disclose same um, mm. on the set, yes, but they, they will be paid. This is in reference to the people being trained yes. to do the, the work. Yes, the, those uh, city response team, yes, they will mm. be paid. When should we expect to see a beautiful Kole lagoon flowing into the sea and possibly using the lagoon for transport? This is boy from Achimota, like the Thames. Well, it's a good dream, but we all have to work together. So we should expect saying when you and I and everybody comes to terms with the fact that we need to keep our environment clean. I think when we begin to do that, we'll be heading towards the direction that is thinking of. Is that Conti project still on? Um, Conti project has been a very interesting one. You see, it's a roller coaster thing. So mm. I'll leave that for the uh, Western Housing Minister to. Uh, it's now that is ambit. Yeah, to deal with that. One challenge we see when we clear the gutters in some parts of Accra is they clear the gutters and put the refuse on the road because, because there isn't ready movement to a final destination. What are you doing to prevent that tomorrow? Spot on. Um, in fact, next week, God willing, we'll be having meetings with the waste management companies. Mm. And I've already sent uh, uh, messages to them, and I'm not mincing words at all. Mm. Uh, I've asked the MMDC is to begin to, as it were, uh, try and bring us reports mm -hmm. uh, about the, the operations of the waste management companies in their respective areas. Mm -hmm. uh, if we find out that they are not doing well, we make strong recommendations to central government for their contracts to be looked at again mm. because yes you're right if we go talking to people and they buy into the concept that okay well we want to clean our frontiers we want to empty our gutters if they do that there must be a waste management company ready to move the debris mm. if that is not happening then we want to question who the company is maybe they don't have enough logistics and then they are replaced are you monitoring the ban of abobo airs on the motorway i also know that we had said that their movement on highways will be stopped from 1st February. So is that also happening from tomorrow? That will not happen from tomorrow because, you see, the restriction of Abobo Yas on the principal streets and highways hinges on building of transfer sites. Now, the transfer sites are not ready. Okay. And so clearly it will be highly unfair to say that we are restricting the movement of Abobo Yas. Where are they supposed to go and dump the rubbish? But for motorway, it's still restricted. Oh, yeah. They, but for highways, for now, not. Yeah, because... And so the transfer sites are ready. Uh, yes. Bernard, my name is Osei Bonsu Atu from Mpraesu. As Honorable Korte, how is going to deal with political pressure internally? In most cases, taking such initiatives comes with some political pressure within. How is he going to deal with it? Then this one says, thank you for the wonderful work you are doing. Honorable Korte, I really support the prison cleaning your frontage. Who should do this for us? Why do we have to keep living in filth? No one benefits from filth. Keep it up. But I need the contact of the first guy who came to educate us on rebuilding and branding our business. <laughs> oh, this, man. this is a different program. I'll come to that later. Good evening, Bernard, an honorable minister. Well done. I salute you for your dedication to duty. You are one of the best ministers. Keep it up. Andrew Intention, no problem. Ask the minister to save the mess in Tema Township. Ghettos all over the communities harboring criminals. Containers scattered all over walkways and residential areas. Best sewage pipes flowing through neighborhoods. Trees meant for beautification being cut down. Illegal taxi stations sprawling all over the place. Cows grazing and defecating openly in the urban community and so much more. Please help us. So I think you deal with Tema and um, political pressure and 
Mm. Tema used to be the the the, the, the showpiece yeah. of West it's, Africa. Yeah, yeah. Now look at what's happening. Burger Town. So uh, on the issue of political pressure, uh, to date I haven't had any political pressure. Mm. Um, and uh, if you look at it carefully, both sides of the political divide have actually thrown their support behind uh, mm. this project. So clearly it tells you that it is something that has been embraced mm. by all because indeed we have to make a car clean. So that I have not thought of. And uh, if there was to be any political pressure to come, then certainly it would have been during the Agogoloshi time. But, um, by that the was the biggest God, issue. By the grace of God, we have a president, as I keep saying, mm. who allows you, he mm. gives you space mm. to use your discretion to work by however you must do so, taking cognizance of your mm. environment and that it doesn't create too much problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's not... Uh, now, um, what again, Tema? Tema. Tema is part of the exercise anyway. We're doing Accra tomorrow, God willing. And the exercise is supposed to go for 10 days. So mm. we'll try and structure them and zone uh, Accra. Mm. Uh, after tomorrow, between Thursday and Friday, God willing, we'll be moving to Tema. All mm. the team will go to Tema. The whole team oh, will yeah. be in Tema? Yeah, we'll go to Tema. Wow. And we'll try and uh, uh, you know, help them over there. So Tema and Ashaman will be going there. You'll go to Ashaman? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take a break. When we come back, we have more questions that are being sent in. We're making it interactive tonight. If you're watching this on Tuesday, it suggests you are supposed to be part of the exercise. Clean your frontage is happening. Decongesting our cry is happening. Henry Corte is our guest. Stay with us. Welcome back. We're still on the point of view. Our guest, Henry Corte, Regional Minister for Greater Accra Operation. Clean your frontage, decongest Accra starts. Traders will not sell on streets. They will be moved to pavements. People must be able to work on pavements. Illegal structures to be removed. We have to use our footbridges. Traffic must flow freely. And of course, we will clean our frontage. Another question coming in. National Engineering Coordinating Team, we want to commend you for the great work you are doing. We'll be visiting you soon to work with you to clear the encroachment within the road reservations. We want to draw your attention to some of the assemblies in the region who are rather encroaching upon the reservation that they should protect. An example is Ablikuma, North Assembly. They've built a permanent building encroaching on the 150 feet that has been preserved till the assembly decided to engage in this illegality. The Department of Urban Roads wrote to the assembly to stop the illegality, which they ignored. The National Engineering Coordinating Team has also written to them they have still ignored us and continue to develop the illegality. We would need your intervention to stop this illegality and bring those who are causing this major work to book. This is coming from Engineer Ken Ashigbe. He is the head of the National Engineering Coordinating Team. This one is coming from Engineer Mahama. With all the fantastic work being done by the Greater Accra Regional Minister, he is here to make his presence felt at the Amasaman Junction approaches. I really want to engage him to bring this unpardonable traffic drastically minimized. His people are not telling him the real issues there. I, together with my team, will detail designs for him to ease traffic of three kilometers from Insawam to two kilometers from Accra. People are really enjoying bad traffic. As we await the reconstruction and expansion of the road, we can drastically reduce traffic there. So these are two questions. One from Kenashibe, engineer. Engineer Mahama is also saying that Amasaman traffic, there's something that can be done. What are your comments? So, um, um, the first one, yeah. reference Ablikma North. Yes. I've heard it, and okay. uh, I'll get my chief director to look into it, and then we'll see what to do. Okay. Now, second one, uh, indeed, we have always said that uh, uh, somebody say, one man, no job. <laughs> uh, Henry Corte cannot do it alone. I don't know it all. So, indeed, yes, I welcome uh, ideas, suggestions, and innovations that uh, we'll be able to turn this whole thing around. So please, uh, he's welcome to pass by the office of the Regional Coordinating Council. If he has any proposals, please, he should bring it on board and we'll consider it. Will Amasaman be part of tomorrow? Uh, no. This is uh, uh, yeah. AMA tomorrow. Tomorrow is Absolutely. AMA. Yeah. Then you move to. Mm -hmm. I see. More questions for you. Bernard, you are doing well. Thanks to the minister for his good work, but he should get spaces for the traders. Kindly ask him how he will deal with companies who put billboards and signboards on pedestrian walkways as well as telcos. Example, 
ECG, Ghana water, they have dark trenches, leave the pit uncovered, and sometimes fill the bricks haphazardly. This is from Felix Adabraka. Um, Bernard, I'm coming from La Paz. I think there should be a platform where we can take and send pictures and videos where throttle divers and sellers who go against these rules can be reported. I think that everyone can then be able to get involved to make the minister's work easier. That's a great question. Minister, what, are you, what you are saying is very prevalent in Nima, selling on the street and parking discriminately. Please, we need sanity in Nima. This is Farouk. So Nima question, billboards, and uh, signboards, trenches, dark, and then citizens want to get involved, photos and videos, comments. Never. So let me start from uh, photos and videos, citizens. Mm. Uh, as part of the exercise, we will have what we call the call center mm -hmm. at the Let's Make a Cry Work Secretariat. Mm -hmm. So the call center will be the central uh, pool. And then all the MMDs will have similar call centers. Now, what we are saying is that we will have a, we've already discussed with the telco, so they will give us a code, short mm -hmm. code. Mm -hmm. You see a problem, you take a picture, you send it to the call center. Then immediately, the central pool will forward same to the particular area and that the problem is ongoing. And we expect that the, the task force should move in real time 30 minutes and solve the problem. Now, come to uh, uh, billboards. Yes. Yes, uh, we contracted the Advertisers Association sometime last year to go around the whole of Greater Accra mm -hmm. and do a good survey and see which of the billboards have to go. Their report is ready. And so, uh, continuing from where we, 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 we left off, we'll start going around to remove some of the billboards. The assemblies will do that. Uh, I've de dealt with the call center. Mm -hmm. uh, billboards have dealt with. Uh, but it's time walkways. Mm -hmm. Well, um, these ones are something that... Nima. It says Nima is Yes, uh, it, it's kind of intertwined. It's part of all the exercises that we want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we are starting tomorrow at Circle. Some, of, some buildings will be demolished tomorrow. Because over the last four years, uh, signals have been sent to them and they, they have ignored it. So tomorrow, one or two buildings uh, located at an authorized area will be demolished. Mm. Uh, subsequent to that, uh, uh, we are having meetings with the uh, Zongo chiefs, uh, Greater Accra Regional Zungo chiefs, and so we'll speak to them. And then education is done in the Nima areas, and we'll begin to clear the place as well. Few final comments. James from Mpwase Dan Soman. Mr. Kote is doing a great job. Ben, I tell him to visit Mpwase Triumphant Assemblies of God Church down mm -hmm. in Abdekuma West, uh -huh. where a whole lagoon has been turned into an illegal dam site, and a disaster that awaits only God can tell. The smoke from the illegal dump engulfs the whole area, and you know the side effects of inhaling carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. I'm pleading with him to come to our rescue because several times I've visited our municipal assembly without any results. I even give them the best way they can block the road so their tricycles can access the dumping site. But it seems as if the normal civil servants, they care less about our plight. And then finally, Bernard, with the decongestion of the pavements, I support him. My late mom had stores in the Mokola market, and because of the hawkers on the street, customers no longer came into the market, and sometimes she comes home selling nothing. For this reason, I vow that if I ever get a chance to become a mayor one day, I will clear the streets of hawkers. There are empty stores in the market. Send your cameras there for yourself. This is James Amable, also from Impoise and Soman. So this guy is on fire for so, you. Today. So, James, thank you very much. A good observation. But, um, we are doing this in the interest of Mother Ghana. It's a win-win situation, so we are not attaching emo uh, emotions, no victimization and all that. Mm. And we want to make that clear. There's no victimiz victimization, no emotions. This is for Mother Ghana. It's a win-win situation for all of us, and we'll have to get involved and get, make sure the wrongs are corrected. Mm. Now, uh, Dan mm -hmm. now that brings into... Uh, uh, <laughs> The question that I wanted to rather ask you, mm -hmm. <coughs> there's an area called Glefe mm -hmm. around that place. And mm -hmm. believe me, as it is, we have to shut that place down. The whole Glefe? Oh, yeah. because It's, it's not fit for human it's habitation. It's a time bomb waiting. Mm. The MP herself, Honorable Slausu, has been there several. He's told them to move. They will move. There are story buildings that have been, they've used bamboo wood as anchor. Stilts. Yes, I mean, today as we speak. So uh, it's a good uh, question you've asked, or James has put, but we'll be moving to Dan Soman. 
uh, very soon, we'll get the Regional Security Council to move there, mm. to assess the situation, get the experts to look at it. And if we feel that it's not uh, fit to, for people to leave there, we'll shut it down. Mm. Yes. That's a, a it means point. that we'll pull down everything with the bulldozer and then we'll cordon the place. Mm. So, what time are we starting tomorrow? Uh, the National Service personnel and security agencies are all expected to converge at the Independence Square between 0500 hours and 0600 hours. All things being equal, if we are able to make the time, we start uh, deploying to the various points between 6.30 and 7. Mm. So by 7 o'clock, God willing, uh, uh, we should be at our various points. In Lagos, I think the time I was there, when they are doing cleanup, people don't do anything. Is that the method we are using? I think they, they did it up to 9. They will say between 7 and 9, you don't even open your shop. Is that the approach, or we can work normally so, so long as our frontage is open? We, we thought of all that, and we thought that because we are engaging the services of the National Service personnel, mm. if we say people should close their shops, there will be no, nothing for the uh, National Service people to do. We want the shops and offices to be open. So that they can then they can go in okay. and do desensitization. Mm. Yeah. So we will not close shops no, yet. No, so no business goes for on. Tomorrow's exercise, how long will it last in terms of uh, time and then days? Uh, it depends on how, but we don't, I don't envisage that it will go beyond 10.30, but by then the sun will be. So, so it's morning thing, yeah. then on Wednesday we continue? Yeah, Wednesday we'll continue. For the week, then you move to Tema, yes. Amasaman and other places? Yes, 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 yes. And the assembly men are all involved, <coughs> and your, your them MCs? All of them, all assemblies, all unit committee members, everybody. Mm. Yes. Fantastic. Think about the King K plan, it will help. It's not bad at all. Yes, it will. Uh, it will really but help. let me use the opportunity. Akeke fi anyu ega. Oyu ega. No, I'm into my anyu ega. Ninye bo am into oh. Few. Inu aga ujuba. Ganyo bijing. Mingpa njefa inye me. Wache me. Wana me. Wani me. Wasuwa loi. Ashe hekoni sani gang mashi gadangwe akwe mama papa nebu. Mingpa njefa. Neke fale fale nuko ne neke fe neke nye ya wami. Wana fe wase ko. <coughs> Mimbi, Bobi, ke wo fe wo wo kume, ane ba ka e wo ake, ame ni me, ka ame na me, e ba kwe ga, na me hen fe kwa kwa ya hame. As they say, cha, omanye. Cha, ni omanye jo, afe wo no. That's all. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we learnt a little today. We are getting involved. It's a national exercise. The point of view endorses the program. Thank you, Honorable Henry Corte, for being on the show as ever. Thank you very much, my brother. Well. Thank you for having me. I'm grateful. Fantastic. Coming up next is the business dashboard. My name is Bernard Avle. Let's make a crowd work. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. The Point of View is brought to you by Cowbell Coffee. Cowbell Coffee. Taste it. Love it. Kel Chaco Toothpaste. Kel Chaco. Happy Smile. Bell Aqua...